What is up guys? So it's been a while. I wanted to make a new video for you today and it's going to be about the real thoughts I have about my vagina. Yeah. Um, I know I sound really bad right now. I am getting over this terrible sickness, the flu. Um, I've had a really low energy, so just bear with me. I'm going to make it through this video. Um, but you guys are just going to have to deal with my voice and how it is, as well as this awesome acne. I feel like I'm going through puberty again for the third time, but we'll get through it. All right, so a couple of real thoughts about my vagina, the cons, things I didn't know that were going to, that just suck, honestly. Um, so number one is the scarring. I have really bad scars. I scar really easily. Um, and so my scars are still really noticeable. Dr. McGinn's office has told me multiple times to buy certain patches to put on my scars to make them fade quicker. However, being lazy as I am, I haven't done that. So really, my scars are probably more my fault than anyone's fault. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that sucks is I have big scars, um, especially when I'm moving into my next subject shaving it makes shaving really difficult because I still have like hair growing through the scars and it, it just makes it really hard as well one thing that's really difficult is just like actually shaving your vagina it's so difficult um you know I always like when <laughs> this is really getting personal but like when you shave when you have a penis and like testicles and stuff it's like you just like kind of grab it and then like you can shave around it and yeah there's some like tricky areas but in reality it's not nearly as hard as shaving with a vagina because at least my vagina another prop con about my vagina is it's really lopsided and I kind of mentioned like I have a lot of erectile tissue on one side of my vagina so it's like really lopsided and so there's like a lot of crevices around there that I really really hard to get and so it's like really hard to maintain and I know this is probably the most disgusting thing a lot of you guys have ever heard of but I'm just like being honest and this is something that a lot of you guys are probably gonna have to expect to deal with in the future if you get the surgery um so that was one thing that I found very very difficult um, as for like my lopsidedness of my vagina, that is going to be fixed. Um, I mentioned before, I didn't know if I was going to be in surgery again or do it in Dr. McKinn's office or not. Um, so it turns out I'm actually going to be doing it in Dr. McKinn's office in April. Um, and so that's when I'll get it taken care of. I'm really excited to get it taken care of because... Um, I do think it affects part of my life right now, especially my sex life. And even though my sex life with other people is like non-existent, you're going to hear more about my sex life later in this video. Um, and just how everything's working down there. And so make sure you watch the whole video because that's going to be the last thing I talk about. Another weird thing that is different about having a vagina is like, so when you have a penis, and I think this is why guys are always so obsessed with their penis is because you look and you always see your penis. You look down, if you're naked, you're like always seeing it there. You can like control it, you like get a boner and it's just like a toy you can play with. It's just as simple minded as like, I'm thinking of like a stupid cartoon show like The Simpsons or something. Like if you think about how men are portrayed and like they're just like dogs and that's exactly what it's kind of like it's like a dog toy and so it's like really amusing and it's like there so why not play with it and so that's why I think men are so obsessed with their penises is because they can see it and that's one weird thing about having a vagina is it's my genitals that I don't see I can't see my vagina unless I have a mirror and so that's something that's really weird is not being able to see my vagina which is, I don't know, I guess I might be the only one who feels that way. It's just, that's how I was always, like, when I grew up, I had genital tools that I could always see, and now I don't. So that's something that's really, really strange. All right, so let's move on to the pros of 
having a vagina. Um, so just like kicking it off easy here. I think the best thing, one of the best things is clothing. Um, I can wear anything I want now and it doesn't matter. I can wear the underwear I want. I can wear leggings whenever I want. And pretty much because of my job, it's a very athletic job, I wear leggings every single day. And it's nice because I never have to focus or think about my bulge or slipping out of a tuck or anything. It's just completely non-existent and something I don't even have to worry about and has actually relieved a lot of stress on my life, which is extremely extremely nice um i don't think i expected it to be this nice um i knew it was something that i was wanting and one of the reasons why i wanted surgery is just because i wouldn't have that mind that always in the back of my mind that i'm gonna become untucked or something like that but it has really helped out my psyche a lot and has really really benefited me greatly not having that bulge always threatening to pop out um, kind of moving on with that is like, I have no worries at all, um, about kind of being clocked and just being trans and, you know, if people out me as trans or anything like that. I'm more okay with being trans now, um, since I've had surgery and I know that was one thing I was always afraid of, um, before was, Hey, I'm going to be trans forever if I have this surgery. And now I kind of look at being trans as, hey, it's it's a part of my life. It doesn't define who I am. It's a part of it. Um, it's not all of it. And if people want to call me out for being trans or hate on me for being trans, so be it. But in all honesty, since I've become more comfortable around being trans, um, when I tell other people that I'm trans, they can feel how comfortable I am telling them that I'm trans and that just in turn makes them that much more comfortable with me being trans and um them accepting me and since I've become more comfortable with it and I've come out to more people I've actually found it to be more successful coming out and um people really do embrace me being authentic and me being truthful to people about being trans and so that's one thing that I didn't think surgery would solve for me and I've heard that um, surgery doesn't solve this problem for everyone and I've known that and people always say you know just because you have surgery doesn't solve being trans and that's true in some sense but for me it has helped in a lot of ways and I don't feel as uncomfortable anymore being trans as I did before. All right, so now we're gonna get into the fun stuff about masturbation and sex life. So six weeks after surgery, you go for another post-op appointment and they tell you your goal is to masturbate and orgasm um, by your six month follow-up appointment. Well, I was successful one time between six weeks and six months. And partly of part of that was in due because or part of that was due because um, the complications that I've had with my surgery and it's just made everything more difficult um, because of my complications it makes things a lot more tender and sore down there and they hurt a lot more um, and then just swelling has been an issue like I wouldn't know if it's swelling but like in my mom's area swelling has been really difficult and then not only that it's just a completely new area on your body um, and you kind of have to explore and learn new ways to masturbate well six months I just it wasn't even a thought I didn't really want to try and then that was in December since December I have kind of taken it upon myself to really explore and um, I can't remember if I mentioned in a video before or not, but I have had um, clitoral orgasms. Um, I have also had vaginal orgasms. Now, I must admit, these are easier to come by now um, since December. However, they're not as intense as they were when I had a penis. Saying that though, I know it's gonna get to the point where it is gonna be just as intense it's just 
it's going to take more practice. Um, recently, I have found out that it is, or like a lot of my tissue, I guess, has it's been. not as painful to touch down there, so it's easier for me to be able to explore and try new things. Um, saying that, I have been exploring more with both vaginal and um, clitoral play, and I have found that like ever since my healing has actually gone down. One thing that's different about having a penis, so like when I had a penis, like even when I had sex, like I I could feel it, but it like didn't really feel good until the orgasm hit. Um, however, that's like. And when the orgasm hit when I had a penis, it was just like, whoosh, boom. And for me, I mean, a lot of people say, like, the male orgasm is always is felt more in the penis. And then the female orgasm, orgasm is more of, like, a full body experience. Well, that's something that I've always had um, with an orgasm when I had a penis, was a full body experience. Um, and I don't really have that with my vagina. However, when I am masturbating, baiting right now whether it's clitoral or vaginal or both at the same time it is more enjoyable and I have more pleasure in the moment and you know it's like I want to keep doing it longer and longer and it doesn't really like I want to orgasm eventually but if it doesn't happen like now like when I had a penis it's okay because it still feels good before it was just like kind of like a, when I jerk off, it was just kind of like a chore, and then I'd finally get the orgasm, and then the sensation would come. Now, when I start, um, it takes a little bit to get in the mood, but then once I get in the mood, it just it constantly feels good. It feels like a back massage to me, honestly, and it just it's something that just always feels good. And then um, I hit the orgasm, and the orgasm is is good. Um, but it's not as good as I want it to be, and I know it's going to get better. It's just going to take practice, and to be honest, I think it's going to take another person to really take me to that next level. And unfortunately, there isn't a lucky Mr. or Mrs. out there yet. I did have a Mrs. going, but life sucks, so nothing really evolved out of that. It was really exciting. I don't know if you guys want a video about that or not. It's really nothing, but I've been out of the game with significant others for forever now um and so I really do think though having another person in the picture will help so when it comes to like masturbation I have a bunch of different techniques but I'm still experimenting like I said like I still haven't got that wow moment I think once I get that wow moment I'm gonna make a video because um if you think about it if you have like your penis here and when you have sex, you use your, like, entire penis, right? And so, and then, like, the very sensitive part is near the tip, and that's, like, this big. Well, when they make your clitoris, they take your entire penis and this giant, um, your tip, and they shrink it down to, like, 10% of the size. And so, basically, instead of masturbating with the whole penis, you only get, like this much and basically if you have a penis and you masturbate try to rub one spot of your penis and try to have um try to have an orgasm based off just rubbing that one little section of your penis for a long time it's not going to happen and what i've learned is like your penis when you use your vagina you have to use your whole vagina you don't just use the little clip part you have to use the whole part of your whole entire vagina and the whole entire region. And so once I hit that wow moment, and I'm still experimenting with this because I don't know, I don't have it down exactly right yet, um, I'll share it with you guys and the tips and tricks that I've learned. But just remember, it makes it a lot more difficult when you have only this much to work with rather than like this whole thing. So... Alrighty, well, you guys have a great rest of your day. I told you I would make it through this video. Um, I think I only broke the fever one time. But anyways, I hope you guys have a lovely day. If you have any questions, let me know. And take care. Bye.